And we are live. And as I'm live, I'm like seeing my necklaces all out of order and oh my goodness. There we go. Um, being the busy mama that I am, I rarely get to take two, two seconds to stare in the mirror, but uh, here I am, showered, dressed. I even put on a little bit of makeup today. Clean, organic, animal-free, testing, clean mineral makeup, which is super, super, super important. Um, but that's stuff that we cover in our Eat Real to Heal program as well because of the fact that you can clean up your diet, but if you haven't cleaned up the rest of your life, then there is a problem. And that's what we're going to be talking about today because I see this happen all the time where people say, but I only drink organic coffee and I only use organic makeup and creams and dyes and you know everything is about being organic for some people but then meanwhile I see the chaos in their life in so many different areas their makeup is actually full of toxins so sure it's organic because the company uses some organic ingredients but it's also full of tons of chemicals. Their body products are full of tons of chemicals. And this is a thing. The reason why you're using so many of these body products is because your skin is not healed from the inside out. Okay. That is really, really critical that you understand that. That dry skin happens when your body inside is dehydrated. Okay, you don't have dry skin like your skin is a separate thing and maybe it stayed outside too long and then therefore became all dry and crinkled and it's separate from the inside. Your skin is a reflection of what is happening inside of you. So what I love about our program is on day three of doing our program, your skin actually can breathe because it's starting to detoxify, starting from the very first meal, the very first liver detox. Um, it's starting to heal and regenerate because now it has the extra nutrients in there. It is starting to um, become alive again. And yeah, it's living. But most of us are living short and dying long. And what I mean by that is we have all the medications and surgeries to keep us alive now. I mean, there's kidney dialysis. There's heart transplants. There is, you know, you can be in a coma and still live. You don't even have to have your brain fully, fully, fully functioning and they can keep you alive. But the only system that we haven't developed yet is a liver dialysis or liver, um, a, a way to keep your liver active. Like if your liver shuts down, you're hooped. You are hooped. You have to get on a liver transplant plant list and that is difficult to get a liver. There's not a whole lot of them flying around in this world just waiting to be taken up at the right time by somebody. And then of course, if you need a liver transplant, to you have to suppress your immune system for the rest of your life so your body doesn't reject the liver. So it really is you do not want to go there. That is a place you do not want to go. So going back to the skin, on day three of our program, what I love is that the, your skin starts to glow. It literally creates its own moisturizer from the inside out. And if you've been slathering lotion on your body, like left, right, and center, your skin's cracking. It's, you know, you, you, um, you can write on your skin with a nail. Has anybody ever done that? Because your skin is so dry. If you, if you can do that, it's a sign that you need to start healing your body from the inside out. And I love it when your skin produces its own moisturizer and it can breathe and heal. And that happens when it's detoxified and when it's neutrified. It's really hard to get results any other way. It doesn't have anything to do with hydration. Even though hydration is a byproduct of being neutrified and detoxified, your body can actually hang on to fluid. And we talk about the difference between hydration and dehydration and why it can't be achieved by drinking eight cups of water a day, or even three liters of water a day, as all these proponents are advocating. You have to do it with food first. You need to replace the collagen matrix in your body to hold on to water. Okay, today is going to be super duper duper short because we have a big day. I have a huge, massive day ahead of me. And so I want to give you a really easy challenge as well today, because I know it's day four of a five-day challenge. You have already done so much in the last three days. Even if you haven't physically done something, maybe you just took some time to enter in some thoughts and feelings, emotion, dig deep, and then you pop that into the comments. That's awesome. Even if you didn't take the physical action to stay away from salt, to stay away from refined sugar, to stay away from refined oil, all of that. Um, you've been thinking about it. The seed has been planted. It is there. You cannot unknow what you have learned this week, okay? that. And I'm just going to recap. 
your body cannot do well and it will not do well on a refined processed food diet. And some of you are thinking, well, I don't eat refined processed foods. And I know that's what many of you are thinking, but I have gone into the homes of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I have consulted thousands of clients and I love when I get to go into their homes because I get to open up their cupboards and every single client when they come to me with a chronic disease, they tell me the same thing. So they have a chronic disease, they've hired me to come and teach them how to eat real to heal. I'm in their home and then they tell me this, but I eat so healthy and I'm actually really healthy. And the definition of a chronic disease is that you are not healthy, you have a disease. Whether it's psoriasis, eczema, migraines, whether it is um, infertility, PMS, um, and more. I had a client at 44 who had never menstruated in her entire life, never menstruated. She had prolactoloma, a tumor on her pituitary gland. So she'd never menstruated ever in that entire time. She started our program and she got her period for the first time within two weeks. Her body just needed nutrients, it needed to detoxify, and it shrunk that tumor on her pituitary gland. And now she's 49 and she still gets her period every 28 days. Crazy, even though some of you might be thinking, poor thing, 44 and have to start getting your period for the first time. But that is the power of our program to heal. So, Having said that, let's just jump into the challenge, okay? You cannot unknow what you do know. Oh yeah, and I want to recap. So let's recap. No refined processed food because your body is nature and it doesn't know how to eliminate and deal with those stressors, the refined oils, the refined sugars, the refined salts. It really needs all of that stuff to come directly from the food itself. So if you eat bread, like I like go into people's homes and they have tons of bread products, whether it's box bread products in the form of cereals, refined um, cereals, whether it's oatmeal that's been processed and refined. So it sure says organic oatmeal, but it's refined and processed um, oats, not the whole oats. Um, I go into people's homes and I don't see any fruits and vegetables, like a very tiny amount. And when you're doing the Eat Real to Heal program, you should only see fruits and vegetables. And then you have maybe eight jars of grains on the counter. It's a really simple, easy way of living. You have some amazing herbs and spices that you can use that are all very healing. And then that's how you live. It's beautiful. It's the way that millions and billions of people have lived for millions of years and stayed disease free. So when you're Dying along and living short, yeah, we can keep you alive with medications and surgery for a very long time, but I promise you, your quality of life will be diminished and you're going to be in chronic pain. You're not going to be feeling well. You're going to be lethargic. You're going to have brain fog. You're going to have constantly um, doctor's visits. You are going to have the stress of being ill and trying to figure it out and trying to get to the bottom of it. When at the end of the day, you could just do the work and it's tough work. It's not easy work. Okay. Because you're changing your lifestyle in the context of a society that has grown up now on refined processed foods. So something I want to share with you before I jump into the challenge, I thought I was going to keep this short um, and it's not happening. Um, so yesterday I had a wonderful call with uh, Margaret Strauss, who is the granddaughter of Dr. Max Gerson, who is really like one of the fathers of food as medicine to reverse cancer and chronic disease. So he's the father of metabolic nutrition at the most advanced level that gets the fastest results. I haven't seen any other protocol in the world yet that can get results as fast as this. So this is why I teach this. And Margaret is in her 70s. She's so vibrant. She's amazing. She's the president of the Max Gerson Foundation. Well, she just asked me to be uh, the executive director of the Max Gerson Foundation so we can really help to make sure that we are helping as many people around the globe eat real to heal. So that's a huge honor. Okay, when I first got certified in this 12 years ago by Charlotte Gerson herself, I had no idea that I would have five restaurants with 10 more being built out in New York. I had no idea that I'd have a health consulting company, that I'd be doing these five-day challenges. I'd have a book. I'd be on Dragon's Den, that Tony Robbins that would recognize us as being a force for good in his 10 Gifts of Life podcast series. I had no idea. Um, did I say I did? that I did a TED talk. I mean, I had no idea about all this stuff 12 years ago. So it's a true honor. But you know what her, the board said? Because I they asked me to be on the board first and then the board thought about it. And they said, we don't want Nikki on the board. We want Nikki to run the organization. And 
they said, you know, we want Nikki to be the Oprah of Gerson. And I just started laughing so loud because of the fact that, and I'm going to show it to you right here. Let me just, can I take this off? Yes, I'll try. Because, let's see if you can see this. This is my vision board. I make one of these every single year, and I've been doing this since I was 19 years old, and I'm 44 years old, so you can do the math. And who do you see there? That is Oprah. So, um, yeah, my plan actually, it is to be the Oprah of Gerson. That's been my vision for the last three years that I want to teach people around the world where Oprah gives out, you know, gives out all her gifts, like her beautiful cars and televisions and all of that stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. That stuff is damaging to the planet. I'm going to give people the gift of health. That's what I've been saying. So I just thought it was so funny that the Max Gerson Foundation, um, you know, they, they said that. And so, but here's the other thing that I learned, which was so amazing. And this is going to come back full circle to my point is that I said, well, that's funny that you said that about Oprah. I said, because we'd really love to meet Oprah and get our story out through Oprah. And she said, and Margaret said, did you know that my mother, Charlotte Gerson, was actually interviewed by Oprah on national television years and years ago? And when Charlotte explained the science behind the Gerson therapy and how they were they've been reversing, Max Gerson has reversed disease, every single disease. The only two that he couldn't tackle was Parkinson's, sorry, three, Parkinson's, ALS, and leukemia. And if he had been able to live long enough, he probably would have been found the solution to it because he found the solution to every other advanced cancer and every other chronic disease. So at the end of the show, apparently Oprah said, oh my God, I'm never eating animal-based products again, and I'm just going to eat vegetables, loads of vegetables. Do you know what happened to Oprah? She got sued by the meat industry. She, her team had to spend months and months and months fighting and throwing tons of money into her case to save herself for this big claim that she made on television because of Charlotte Gerson, which I think is very interesting. So that's just something to ponder. And the reason I say that coming full circle is that you've been born into a refined processed food world where there are so many lobbies and there's billions of dollars that are thrown into promoting meat that are th thrown into promoting dairy the lobby groups are so aggressive that nobody really stands a chance against them that's why we're a grassroots company and we're doing what we're doing to teach people how to heal from food so every single member and this is almost a fact i have i could fact check this every single member of the food industry, so the beef industry, the egg industry, the chicken industry, the dairy industry, they all have shares in the pharmaceutical industries. And all of those people also are on the boards of the Diabetes Association, the Heart Disease Association, the Alzheimer's Association, and more. And I don't know if you know this, but two neuroscientists came out. They were out there looking for the cure for Alzheimer's. And they just announced that they've been duped by the medical system to believe that there is a cure. And in fact, there is no cure. And the only cure is plant-based whole food. And they're angry that they were never presented with this information in medical school. That's the Shurzai team. I'll put the link in the notes so you can listen to their podcast. And they have come out and said, the only cure for these diseases, even if you have the genetic mutation, which I do for Alzheimer's, I'm not worried about that because just like they've proved, you can keep the genes turned off for Alzheimer's until you are dead, until you die a natural death at like 107. And I'm like, whoop, whoop, that's awesome because that means I'm just going to keep continuing to do what I do. I'm going to do what I do, which is to eat clean, eat real, eat nutrient-dense food, and to detoxify my body regularly. Because in addition to the makeups that you are putting in your body, you are also putting in chemical cleaning products. Unless you're cleaning your house with vinegar and lemon and water or just microfiber cloths, you don't have to use anything. We teach a full section on how to clean your home and your office using the best products, which cost zero money and you can keep your health or not zero. There's a couple dollars you have to invest, but literally it's pennies, pennies, pennies. And it's the kind of stuff you have in your house and in your fridge anyway. So we teach that in the Eat Real Tail program. So let me dive into the challenge for today. The challenge for today, okay, and everybody in this group, so you know that tomorrow is the last day. You're going to have another challenge, and you are going to have to do the challenge to be, and for all five days to be entered in to win an Eat Real to Heal course, okay? But tomorrow at 5 p.m., 
or 5 p.m. or maybe after our pop-up, the cart will open to invite you in to our Eat Real to Heal program because we're kicking off with a challenge on the 27th, and that's a five-week challenge. So five weeks where we handhold you through Eating Real to Heal. You get the online course, you get weekly group coaching, which a weekly group coaching session will start just after this. You are going to get invited into our private Facebook group that has been supporting clients um, who've gone through our retreats, our online course, our consulting, and, uh, and so on. And you get lifetime access to this because we know that you need your hand held through this. You need support, you need encouragement, you need motivation and inspiration. So we want to provide you with that. So that's what's happening tomorrow. So you do have to do these two challenges today to enter into win a free course. Um, but some of you are going to say, you know what, this challenge isn't for me. And that's great. That is no problem. I don't want to do the five week challenge. I'm going to go explore some other things. You are going to be like probably 95% of my clients. And this is the truth. Okay. So what happens is people come to me, they learn about what I teach and then they go, hmm, that seems really hard. I have to change my lifestyle. I have to change the way I eat. I'm going to go look for something easier. And usually it's something in the form of a quick pill solution, even if it's natural, or else they say, I'm going to go work with my natural path. And then they spend $700 on supplements at the end of six months. They still have their disease. And natural paths train with me because they see I get results with their patients. Doctors train with me because they see I get results in reversing disease with their patients that they weren't able to get results in. Um, so, and it's not to say that there are some naturopaths out there that can definitely get results, but you guys, most of the people in this group probably have been to a few where you'd end up spending, you know, a hundred bucks for your appointment or even more. And then you walk out of there with $200 of, you know, herbs and tinctures and homeopathy, which I believe in all of that. We use it in our house and it's super important to have, but does it reverse disease when your diet isn't optimal? Nope. And I know it because I've worked with thousands of clients who have spent thousands of dollars working with their natural paths, with their TCMs, with their physios, with their chiros, with their doctors um, on different medications and surgeries, and they still don't get results. So the answer is in your kitchen. So the challenge for today is based on that, okay? I want you to really dig deep and I want you to think about this. What would be stopping you from jumping in 100% changing your lifestyle, and eating real to heal for five weeks. And the reason we do it for five weeks is because we know that when you eat real to heal, okay, for five weeks, you've created habits. It's all about habit formation at the end of the day. When you first enter your kitchen on day one, it is overwhelming. You're like, what am I going to do with all these vegetables? I've never eaten this many vegetables in a day. But your body needs that. Prior to processed packaged food, you would have eaten that many vegetables in a day. And if you're sick with a chronic disease, you have to eat more. And I know that's counterintuitive, but this is what I love, is when you do this program, if you have advanced stage four cancer, you're actually consuming about 6,600 calories a day worth of food. Yes, a lot of it is um, juiced. That's the only way you have to get out the fiber in about 17 pounds of that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get the nutrients. You just stop chewing and you'd be full. So we juice it. We turn it into soups. We turn it into stews and casseroles and baked dishes and salads. And we do all of that into desserts even. You can have desserts on our program. And we teach you how to make those in the healthiest way so that you can give it to your kids and your kids can have desserts for breakfast. And it's still just as healthy as if they had it as an after dinner snack. So with our program, I want you, or with the challenge today, I want you to write down what would stop you from wanting to jump into the five week challenge. Is it money? And if it is money, definitely let us know because we're all about helping people. Um, we have given away so many free services, we can figure out a way to make it work for you. Is it time? You're like, oh my God, I have no time. I can barely cook now and there's no way I could do this. And you know what? Time is definitely a factor, but we teach you how to work around that. Is it uh, information? You're like, uh, I don't have enough information. I don't know. Is it that I heard about this other therapy and I think that'll work for me? And if it is, then I'm like 100% go out there and do that. I had a family of five that they went down to Guatemala and they all came back to Canada with Lyme disease. Two of their dogs actually died from Lyme disease while they were there. And then they realized that their whole entire motorhome was infected. 
and this family had businesses in Canada. Um, they weren't able to run them, and all five members of their family were dramatically damaged by the Lyme disease. One of them was in a wheelchair. One of them, one of the teenagers, walked with a cane. Um, the mom can barely run the business, and the son also had neurological damage as a result. Well, they went through and they came and consulted with me and I taught, taught them the program. And then they came back and they said, well, you know what? I don't think it's really for me. Um, I'm going to try something else. My naturopath suggested that I like drink this concoction, which is great. So she did that every time I'd see her, she'd be drinking the concoction. Over the next few years, they spent 90, so that's nine zero, ninety thousand dollars trying to get results for their family, trying to reverse the Lyme disease, to trying to just heal and get pain free from the Lyme disease. Well, it wasn't until they actually ate like they actually included the nutrients that they did the program that they were able to reverse their Lyme disease. And their daughter came to work for us at the green mustache, which I think is cool. No cane, no neurological symptoms anymore. Um, the other daughter was out of her wheelchair. I mean, it's just a beautiful story, but I share this with you because I don't want you spending $90,000 and if you want to and you're able to or you know you could be like another client of mine that had a big massive growth in her brain and she had spent 21,000 US up until the point where she came and saw me and then she decided to go for the surgery well I said why don't you just try the program for three months because your surgery is three months away she did she went for her pre-ops and her cavernous angioma in her brain was no longer there so they canceled her surgery Isn't that cool but $21,000 later so I want you to write down what would stop you from doing it. And every reason is legitimate because it's your reason. Okay, but if you want me to help you find a way around the barrier, I can do that. But I need to know what it is. Is it that, you know, you don't know how to cook? You don't know what a leak is, so therefore you can't do the program, or you know you think you can't eat potatoes because you've been told that potatoes are really terrible. Um, bye. That's my daughter. She just went through all my receipts and now she's going to go hang out with a friend. Bye. Um, so make a list of that. That is the challenge for today. Go into the comment section and share with others because it's so important to identify what your barriers are before you can move forward with anything. And if it is moving forward in any other direction besides ours, that is okay because Every time you explore something new and different, you are educating yourself and you are getting yourself closer to the truth that is going to serve you. Okay, so this is really, really important. And along the way, you're going to develop all of these amazing tools and tricks, which I also think is amazing. You might learn about, wow, lots of interruptions in the office today. That's my little pooch who is freezing cold because it's minus 17 in Whistler. Um, so you're going to learn about maybe mind over medicine. Maybe you're gonna learn about chiropractic care, naturopathic care, TCM care. You're gonna learn about different drugs that you can be offered. One of my clients, I just found her chart shoved into, it was, I misplaced it, and uh, she was on 12 different medications prescribed by eight different doctors, and the minute I looked at it, I said, why is one doctor giving you a blood pressure raising medication at the same time of the day that you're taking a blood pressure lowering medication? And she said, what? And I said, yes, it's right here. You gave me your printout of your medications. And I said, have any of these eight doctors ever consulted with each other? And she was like, well, no, because I go to one appointment in New West, another one in Langley, another one in Vancouver, and I only see this one once a year. And yes, so the minute we worked with her team and built together a whole healthcare team, she wasn't on 12 medications anymore. She didn't actually need them. And of course, she applied the Eat Real to Heal program and was able to heal. But it was really interesting to come across her file yesterday and to remember, oh yeah, that happens in our medical system currently. But she learned something in that process. And because her family was invited into the consult, the entire family started to look at the medications they were taking and started to question their doctors, which is also great skills and tools to have. You have to question your doctors and we teach that in the Eat Real Tea Hill program, how to advocate for yourself, for your children, for your family, and you know, for other people, other loved ones who are sick. So that's the challenge. Go in there, enter in whatever is stopping you from wanting to change your lifestyle to eat clean, real food that can potentially reverse your chronic illness, your lethargy, your anything that you're suffering from right now okay next on the list and this is around the food challenge now 
I brought in this challenge today because of the fact that there has been a, hi, Linda, hi, Catherine, and oh, we have two Lindas on the call today. That's awesome. I saw a little heart raise up there. Thank you for the hearts that fly. They do make me feel warm, and they fill up my bucket. Um, so the other day, someone said to me, you know, I've read all the research on B12, and I just don't believe it. And I thought that was a very interesting statement because I said, so you've read all the research on B12. Does that mean you looked at the research that says you should take B12 and the research that said you should not take B12? Because I've done that and I haven't really found very much published medical research that says that B12 should not be taken unless you have a contraindication, like unless your bilirubin levels are super high and your uh, liver uh, is failing and your body can't clear and utilize B12, then yes, you do have to be careful. You don't want to have ele two elevated levels, but that's usually in advanced disease cases. That's when the person is actually close to dying. So I thought that was interesting. She said, yeah, well, you know, I'm vegan. And I said, well, what kind of vegan are you? You know, do you eat like we eat? And she said, well, no, but, you know, I eat gluten-free pasta. And I, you know, so there's many different versions of vegan. Okay, so we're the whole food plant-based version of vegan. And then there's I drink whiskey, I snort cocaine, I eat Oreo cookies and salt and vinegar chips version of vegan. And I know that sounds extreme, but I use that extreme example to get you to laugh because it's actually kind of funny. And I also tell you this to kind of snap you into a reality that there is processed vegan and vegetarian, and then there is unprocessed vegan and vegetarian. And I hope you know the difference. So she said, well, I just don't believe the research. And I said, okay, that's okay. But right now we know that 40% or more of the United States population, which is equivalent to the Canadian population in most studies, is B12 deficient. And 98% of those people are all meat eaters. So the myth that meat eaters don't need B12 is such a fallacy because they're deficient as well. And so I'm not asking you to take B12, but I can tell you this. Your body can store B12 for about five years. And if you are not replenishing your B12, whether you're a meat eater or a plant-based eater, you will eventually, and I can almost guarantee this because the studies have proven it out over and over and over again, and because clients that I know who have been vegan and vegetarian for a long time, and also meat eaters for a long time and haven't supplemented in B12, we see their diseases present. And then as part of our program, B12 is one of the supplements. And we teach you about everything you need to take for a short period of time to heal. But B12 is the one thing you would take for life. And it's because your body absolutely needs it. You don't want your myelin sheaths breaking down. MS is a result of that. Alzheimer's is a result of that. You can't repair, repair your blood as a result of B12 deficiency and a host of other factors. There's methylation that cannot take place and you can't detoxify properly. So it's not to say your challenge for today is to take B12. Your challenge is for today is to look in your cupboard. If you're not taking B12, I want you to do research. If you are taking B12, I want you to make sure it's methocobalamin. And if you and there's another version as well, we teach about that, but methocobalamin is great. It's so cheap. And if you are taking it, I also want to make sure that you are taking it consistently. Now, Here's a challenge for outside of this program that you can do. I highly recommend that you get your B12 levels checked because when you get your B12 levels checked, you also have to get a bunch of other tests at the same time. They're free, usually covered by your medical doctor, but they will, in, they will actually show what's happening in your bodies. And at the same time, I'm just gonna throw in an extra little tip here, go and get your vitamin D levels checked as well. Okay, I'm not going to say much about that, but I'm just throwing it out there as your challenge. So if you're not taking B12, if you are taking B12, your food challenge for today is to do research on it and to learn as much as you can about it because we want to make sure that you know and you're making a really conscious decision if you decide not to take it, but you understand the consequences of not taking it. Okay, so those are the two challenges for today. I love you all for being here and for watching this video and for eating real to heal. And you can get started on that now, by the way. You don't have to wait for us. So dive into the comments, put in your list of you know, barriers to moving forward, everything that would stop you from moving forward with an eating real to heal lifestyle. That is the challenge for today. Research B12, and that is it, people. Thank you.